You heard the news Wednesday that Tua Tungavailoa will miss the Miami Dolphins game this Sunday at Las Vegas because his rib injury is worse than first thought, and, if you have followed this young man's travails, the reaction had to be, of course it is. What, exactly, has gone right for Tungavailoa in the year and a half since Miami drafted him in the first round out of Alabama, anything? Someday he's going to look back and laugh at his unimaginably weird entree into the NFL. We can only hope because that would mean this will have all worked out in the end, an eventuality presently unknowable and open to vigorous debate. Tua's budding pro career has been a walk on hot coals, barefoot and uphill, so of course the hit he took in last week's 35-0 home loss to Buffalo ended up fracturing his ribs. And of course he will miss at least this one game as veteran backup Jacoby Brissett takes over. Miami has not ruled out Tungavailoa playing the following week, although a quarterback with tender ribs and the fin sack inviting offensive line seem a most precarious match indeed. Tunga Vailoa's injury is a fitting, latest chapter in the book of Tua ever since he arrived on Miami radar. A brief chronology. He was the guy coming off serious hip surgery who as a potential draftee might or might not have posed a health or durability risk. He is drafted fifth overall and most pundits and plenty of doll fans immediately say, should have taken Justin Herbert instead an opinion feathered by Herbert's excellent rookie year. A pandemic deprives Tungavailoa of the rookie offseason and preseason he, in particular, could have dearly used. He has an up-and-down first season that includes twice being benched for veteran Ryan Fitzpatrick. He later admits he was not entirely healthy as a rookie and was not as comfortable with or knowledgeable of the offense as he should have been. Speculation and rumor about the Dolphins' reported interest in trading for Deshaun Watson chases Tunga Vailoa across the summer and into the new season. The speculation seemingly will pop up, Punxsutawney Phil style, with every Dolphins loss or interception until Tunga Vailoa makes it go away. Miami makes moves to give Tunga Vailoa more help including top draft pick Jalen Waddell, but the Finns through two games have scored the fewest points in the NFL. Now, Conjuring anew those old health and durability concerns, Tunga Vailoa gets knocked out of game two injured. Yes, someday Tua and Dahl fans will look back on all this and laugh, because Tunga Vailoa will prove to have been a quarterback worthy of the high pick. A winner who cast aside the rough start to his career and all of the doubters. We will all look back and laugh, we hope. Because the alternative, Tunga Vailoa just didn't work out so what's next? Wouldn't be funny at all.